You gonna watch Sandman? Why do people keep bringing up Sandman? That trailer looked horrible. Did it come out or something? Jealous women. <laughs> Jealous women, what's that? I have no idea. MG, men going their own way is what MG, MG Tao stands for. MG Tao guide to retiring on 200k in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Alright, this really piqued my interest. I found your thoughts on the struggle between Alpha, Beta, and Sigma personalities very interesting. Whoa, what a start. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That, uh, this is interesting. That actually sounds like the Joker. And consistent with my experience. That aside, what are your thoughts on female jealousy towards men? This kind of content is popping. Like, men motivational shit. And like, Alpha, Beta, Sigma, the astrology for men stuff. Like, this shit is blowing up. Yes, many women are jealous of the successful independent man. What makes him even more attractive to them in a sick and twisted way is that they're happy for him and jealous of him at the same time. Oh boy. They want to be with him, but they also want to destroy him simultaneously <laughs> because they're jealous of him. Oh if god, they're after us. single, she will see your peace of mind and get jealous that your attention is being given to something other than a woman. Women are also the most logical and rational when they are with a man. You're what? whole on your own, and she wants to make you unwhole, and in the process she makes herself whole by getting you in her hole. Many women I've known what have is also happening? seemingly taken great satisfaction. I, I'm gonna, I would wager a guess, the women he's known can be counted on one hand. Wh why is he talking like he's some kind of professor giving a lecture in front of a high school class? I think there's also another part of them that knows they'll never be able to do, experience, or even achieve as much as we do. If we're single <laughs> and not tied down to a woman. A woman could never achieve what I do, talking about women on YouTube acting like I'm the authority and the expert, a woman couldn't do that. They don't have the, the brain capabilities that Sandman does. They're just not to his intellectual level. That's why you hear BS statements like, behind every great man is an even greater woman. If we achieve greatness, then we can't even take credit for it. Because it's the guy's mother that raised him into the man he is today, or his wife or girlfriend supporting him, that made him great to begin with. They can't accept the fact what that they didn't actually to? have part in making something that's great. Of course, a guy that goes his own way for many years and sees one success multiply on top of another when women aren't in his life will figure out that behind every strong, successful man is free time away from women. Oh, I see. Okay. So the, the lesson is get away from women because they'll drag you down. They'll hinder you from reaching your optimal efficiency. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that makes... I don't even... Why even make a video on that lesson? The whole audience is people that don't have women around them. Is it like reaffirmation that it's good? Like, hey, it's good to be alone. I guess. But let me first tell everyone about today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection Part <laughs> 2. When are you getting camel toe in Cambodia, banging babes in burkas in Turkey, oh or God. taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand? Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. Oh in addition Lord. to his classic, How to Retire on 200K in Southeast Asia. This is so fucking sad. Oh my god, what did the comments say? I mean, hey, it, it's a good hustle. Good for Sandman. 200K just appealing to the sad guys down here? Good on him. Though I don't know if I've ever, I'd ever call him a bro. This guy sounds like he's the leader of the anime club. Like, I, I, he wouldn't be my definition of, like, a bro, just by the sound of him. Mm. Sponsor link is down below. Anyways, now back to spiteful, <laughs> jealous women putting up roadblocks in your life because you don't have a wife. He sounds like this guy. Do you guys remember the old Jelly Belly guy? Jelly Belly. That guy? Um, what was it? Jelly, uh, the Jelly Rat guy. What the fuck was Jelly, Jelly Rat? I think it was. Yeah, Jelly Belly Pet Rat. Hello. Nice to bring for the QB. So I'm guessing this guy went from this to talking about why it's good to not be around women. Cons like, it, it was your decision. You don't want women, which is why you don't have women, I guess. 
that men simply because they are men have things like old boys clubs and other secret support networks to help them make it in life instead of being just uh this is to to all the men in the secret support networks if you're paying to be a part of that network it's a bad network like that's not a network that you just you got scammed yeah if, you, if your support network is charging you for being single books or whatever you fucked up time to leave that network no such thing. Back in early 2014, when my channel was growing quickly and would become the biggest channel in MGTOW, people attacked me, even though for the majority of men I was providing some value. Jealousy mm, also has a lot to do with dominance hierarchies. People are like crabs in the bucket. They always want to bring others down to their level. Why do you think that women are against every group of men in the manosphere seeking out freedom from women? The they manosphere. They want us in relationships or chasing relationships. That's so cute. Which would be the equivalent of a crab that's free looking for a bucket to fall into, where he would be held down. They attack us through things like demonetization, throttling, and shaming language. Again, it's not just women, but also gamma males that infest the tech companies. Mm. Ooh, wait. What is a gamma male? That's a new one. I haven't kept up with the astrological signs and the uh, men going their own way community for a little bit. What's the gamma male? What do they do? Give me a rundown of that species. The Hulk? No, it, the way he used it, it wouldn't be about the Hulk. It'd be like a, I guess like a, a tech guy? A, a nerd, perhaps? I don't know. Suck their own dick on a daily basis? Well, wouldn't Sandman be a gamma then, if that's the definition? He literally just sucked his own cock, talking about how he was providing value and didn't understand why he was getting hate. Gamma male is one step down from the omega male. Oh, okay. So it's like a, a pre-digi-evolution of the omega male. Okay, I gotcha. So diet omega. Alright, thank you. That makes uh, That actually would make sense. That's wrong? Oh, that's not right? When was there an Omega Male? Omega Male was introduced like two seasons ago. That was like 2021, early 2021. It's below Alpha and Beta, but above Delta. I don't know the Delta Males. Now I think you're making terms up. The Sandman's the expert, so he used Gamma. It must be an established scientific uh, kingdom for some men to fall into. From what I understand, Gamma Males are bottom feeders who don't try and improve their life. You know what? I'm gonna accept that definition. I don't know if it's correct, but I'm going I'm going to work under that assumption. It would fit into the context he used it here. That look at men out there that are successful and more happy than they are, and they basically think they need to be humbled and beaten down in life the way they've have. Even the alpha betas and deltas are jealous because sigma males are free to do whatever they want mm. with zero sense of self consciousness. So they will try and take you down a few pegs so they feel better about themselves. The jealous types are constantly stuck having to calculate their rank in the social hierarchy constantly, <laughs> thus comparing themselves to others instead of just doing what's right for themselves. If you want to avoid these sorts of What is of this picture most... supposed to be? I don't get it. She's dangling a spaghetti noodle? Does this trigger something in the Sigma male brain? Like, I want the noodle? I'm mad about the noodle? I don't know what this means. Maybe I'm a gamma male. I don't get it. What? Can someone break this? Th can they break this down for me? It's hair? That's the thickest hair of all time. So is it another woman's hair and she's accusing him of cheating? But he's explaining, babe, I'm not cheating, I'm a Sigma male? Because after five to ten years of financial freedom, your self-confidence goes up. And you want to share your experiences with like-minded people. Plus, if you do things like travel on epic trips, people might hear of them <laughs> and wonder how you can afford them. I do love traveling on epic trips. Might even Can't have a girl with me. That you're hiding your Fucking status. weighs me down. When I would film travel videos on my Cool Buildings channel, I would go to locations and ask to do interviews and film some cutaways. First women, they didn't care when the channel was brand new. And not so... God damn it, now I have to see that channel. He has his own channel travel for Cool Buildings? What does that even mean? <laughs> wow, for someone that's all about, like... You don't need women. It's all about being big man. <laughs> he follows Dua Lipa immediately. That's not alpha stuff. I like Dua Lipa, but I'm not an alpha. Where's your travel channel? This is just a casual reminder not to go harass this channel or any channel I ever talk about. If you do that, you're a piece of shit. I don't condone it. Don't do it. Single mothers wrecking soy society. That is pretty fucking awesome.
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Do men going their own way need to leave the West behind? Uh, the great exodus of, <laughs> of the, uh, the gamma males and, and sigmas. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. The Bible foretold of that. Oh, here we go. Sandman 2. Well, that didn't work. But once the channel was up and running and filled with dozens of locations, and they saw the places I traveled to in the past, they started becoming less accommodating. Unless it was one of what? the ones they were doing it because they were either desperate for their location needing publicity, or they were just attention whores. Many of the younger women I asked what? at such locations, they were seemingly jealous of the places I visited because they were usually working second or third rate tourist attractions, and were probably not thrilled that I was free to travel about and they weren't. What is that thought process? They were jealous of my epic travels. So when they saw how much I traveled, they started treating me like shit. Because they were jealous of my epic travels. Good lord. I want to see that channel. What? How epic are these travels? Did you go to the moon? Like how cool could it possibly be? I I'm just going to go ahead and squash this theory right now, Sandman. I can't find your channel after desperately searching for it because you didn't even link it properly. I don't think the, the women or anyone else around you is that jealous. I don't think they've seen it. <laughs> Tra traveling my own way. Hi, everyone. Alone. Sandman here. <laughs> Welcome the way to my I like traveling it. my own way series where I actually thought I'd be sharing with everyone my daily breakdown for my trip out west. This is the first part of 16 videos of my solo road trip from May the 3rd all the way to the 19th. That, what is it? Solo? I can't believe it. These videos are in addition to my daily dose of red pills and I'm actually labeled oh, them God. TMOW oh, God. or traveling my own way next to them on the channel. My if daily like dose them, of red pills? Them, Fuck I'm me. I'm basically doing this as an experiment to see- that, I see why they'd be jealous now. That was fucking nuts. So I'm they jealous. basically put up passive aggressive roadblocks. Jealous women will try and sabotage your business, mm -hmm. and once you've dealt with enough of them, you start to learn how to act. And, and you've dealt with too many, I'd and say. Work around them. Women just Some can't stop. Some people are jealous that I haven't had a real technical job in my entire life, and have basically made my own way. They don't see the triumph and victory snatched away by some snatch on YouTube demonetizing Ooh. my channel. Right. I've shown women my travel videos, and they look at me and think I'm poor. And then they what? ask me, how can I afford to travel because I don't have a full-time job? Let me let me pump the brakes a little bit. You show women your travel videos. Hey, hey, harlot, come here. Look at my phone. This is my Traveling My Own Way series. Look, I went to Las Vegas here. Nobody does this. Nobody does this. This is my way. This was a solo trip to... Look at this. I stayed at the, uh, this resort with a pool. Okay. Oh, jealous. Okay. Yep. Walking away. She's jealous. Uh, of course. Yep. She can't handle a man without a... W oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Not again. Can the reason they're envious or jealous and suffering is because it all comes back down to hierarchy. Oh, Most boy. Most people want to be oh, on top of it God. and afford all the best experiences and physical goods for themselves. This is the worst part about it. I have no doubt in my mind this guy could have been in a relationship. But he got so lost in this sauce, he made it his entire identity, and now n does nothing but repulse women. Like, he just talked about how he shows them his travel videos. Like, it's just one of those things, man. They don't realize they're their own worst enemy. Hearing these things keeps you locked in this endless cycle and spending money on the how to retire on 200k in Southeast Asia men going their own way guide. Fucking rough. Tragic, even. Look no further at women's jealousy of men than the makeup and clothing industries. Oh, and God. In all species, the male is the more physically attractive half. Oh, no. But with humans, the women use whatever needs necessary to make themselves more visually appealing. Because oh. they're probably jealous of men's natural good looks without makeup and bright colored clothing. <sighs> Just be gay then, man. Like, you don't have to put up this front. Just be gay. Like, you don't have to go on this, like, women are... Men are so much better without women. I don't like women. Women fucking suck. They're always jealous of my travel videos. Just be gay. Like, it's not that hard. Like, embrace it. This guy, this guy is just battling insecurity, like, his entire fucking life. He's been doing this since 2014. Oh, my God. That's the point our species has gone to. 
the men provide women financial resources to attempt to outdo us when it comes to attraction. Men invented bras to keep the girls on their chest from sagging to their knees too quickly. <laughs> Go to the zoo and see uh. the great apes, and you'll basically be drawn to the male ones because they look better. The female ones just look too What? What? Women I didn't. There's no way I heard that correctly. I just didn't hear that right. There's no way. Their chest from sagging to their knees too quickly. Go to the zoo and see the great apes, and you'll basically be drawn to the male ones because they look better. The female ones just look too damn plain. Bro, this guy needs to be on a list. Go to the zoo and check out the great apes. You'll like the male ones. Dude goes to the zoo to look at animals sexually. What is wrong with you? That they want to turn themselves into men with their actions, careers, and experiences. Is that jealousy coming out? What? Or is it just part of the female chameleon routine? I'll let you decide. They also want to compete with the men at the top of the male hierarchy and only really want the alpha males and their lieutenants to partner with. Most of the deltas, gammas, and omegas are of no interest to them. They also All want right. the sigmas because I owe, they're- I owe an apology to the guy in chat who brought up delta males earlier. I thought you were making the term up. I guess it's a real one. Sorry, you were right. Uh, I guess I just, I might be too, too behind on the times here. I didn't know delta males got brought into the equation. Jealous of our independence and lack of dependence from the validation of others. Thanks again to Cam for the donation as well as Topic. Don't forget to smash the like button the way that women love when you smash them because it means you'll also smash your hopes and dreams to smithereens. Bang oh the bell my. and check out the mystery link. Oh my Follow God. me on BitChute, Twitter, and Facebook to get no. tomorrow's video today. Subscribe to me on mine. I have to be mishearing this guy. To get the video for the day after tomorrow. Description. Or you can do an hour long coaching chat with the same man for 45 US dollars. An hour-long coaching session. <laughs> oh my god. 40... Oh, oh boy. Oh my. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's painful just to listen to. Don't forget to smash that like button, just like women like when you smash them, and also smash your hopes and dreams to smithereens. So that tells me a lot of things. He's never had sex, so he tries to shame anyone that has. Trying to frame it as a terrible thing to have sex. And yet he's trying to be the alpha, I don't even, it's Sigma male leader of the men going their own way movement. Like this guy is nothing but like red flags. Wow. Wow. I am not booking a fucking coaching session with this guy. That'd be the worst $45 I ever spent in my life. It wouldn't even be entertaining. I'd just feel bad. I would legitimately feel bad. At the end of the day, it's not like I hate this guy. I don't. I feel fucking bad for him. My heart breaks for people like this. This is clearly a, a guy who was a young man back in 2013, 2014, and found this men going their own way movement, which was big back then in the R Red Pill section, and... Being lonely and desperate really bought into it and has paid hand over fist for the books and now just regurgitates everything that he thought was the truth. So he's caught in this endless loop of being a perpetually miserable, sad, lonely guy. Like it's, it's, I just think it's fucking sad. This has been one of the most pathetic men going their own way lectures I've ever seen. I'll give him credit, though. He's using his actual voice as opposed to text-to-speech like all the other ones, so. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember, a red pill a day keeps the women that hate successful men so much that they want to take away that success by sleeping with them and having sex with them away. So oh enjoy the God. rest of your day. Oh, my God. And cheers. Again, that tells me he's never had sex, so he continues to vilify it. Is he like a like a public virgin? Like he publicly has mentioned being a virgin? I imagine he has. Like, there's no way he hasn't, right? Because it's pretty obvious. I'm not using it as an insult. Like he is very obviously making it clear that he has not had sex. So that is why he continues to shame those that have. Dear Sandman, this donation is a big thank you for your video called The Cock Carousel. Your video gave me an argument to throw in the faces of people 
The thing is, almost no man cares about that. And why do females shame me all the time for not jumping around in the haystack? What's your thought about this? And that immediately tells me he wrote this. What, what lady is going to say, jumping around in the haystack? That's in men going their own way term. He absolutely wrote this himself. I don't have any children, but if I had a daughter, and it was you, Lady D, then this is what I would tell you. At this point in your life, you've been with maybe one or two men tops, and you still have the ability to bond with a man. Those women that are telling you to be <laughs> promiscuous have lost that ability in themselves, it's most gone. likely. Yeah, it's, it's gone. And they're emotionally damaged beyond repair. And right. now they're shaming you for being a virgin. You're probably laughing to yourself and thinking, that's absolutely impossible. But it's not true, because I'm living proof that guys like that exist. Every woman that I've ever slept with ended up pressuring me no. to be with her because no, they she probably didn't. felt insecure about herself in the first place. No, they fucking didn't. Okay, so not, so he's not even being honest with his subscribers. Okay. I was hoping this was going to be like a heart-to-heart -heart like, well, Lady D, I myself am a virgin, but he's very clearly still putting up this front. Okay. What a wild rabbit hole. All from looking up a Netflix show that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like in the first place.